Furthermore, even if you just happen to find the one weird Cracker Barrel in South Carolina where nobody happens to be armed at the time, it's a Cracker Barrel. You have no shortage of rusty old farm tools just hanging around. How does this guy wind up doing this without getting a pitchfork through the face? Like, that's what I'm surprised about. <laughs> Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now well, you've messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> there was a peeping Tom that was attacked in a South Carolina Cracker Barrel. So this is a weird one, but stay with me here. Apparently what was going on is in the girl's bathroom, he was hiding out in one of the stalls. There was a 15-year-old girl that went to go in the bathroom and do her business. Now, frankly, obviously it's disgusting that a grown man is wanting to peek in and look at a 15-year-old girl regardless of the circumstances, but I've also found it really gross that some of these voyeurs will do so specifically when women are going to the bathroom like, to me, that's a huge turnoff. It wouldn't matter if it was the most attractive woman in the world. If you had, uh, I don't know, Gil Gadot, and you're like, hey, you want to watch Gil Gadot go into the bathroom? And I'm like, no, that's gross. I don't want to see that at all. It doesn't matter how hot she is. If she's going to the bathroom, I don't want to see it. So that's one thing that's really weird. You've already got some stupid interlaced in all of this. But anyway, this pervert, you could understand why he doesn't care about that, considering how perverted he is. So this pervert does this, and he slips his head underneath the stall and tries to get a look at this 15-year-old girl. So the 15-year-old girl, understandably, is, is very freaked out, and she goes outside the bathroom and tells her dad that there was a man in there trying to take a look at her. So dad goes and gets a female employee of the Cracker Barrel. Remember, this is in South Carolina. That's going to be important later. And he brings the female employer, uh, employee there. She goes into the bathroom flushes the guy out, basically, and then he comes out, and then the dad, uh, he tries to leave, the dad tries to hold him there, the guy tries to get away, and so the dad basically yells out what is going on to the crowd there in Cracker Barrel, and a whole bunch of other dads and the man's son apparently all join up and start chasing this guy. They create a posse, so this is just like an old-timey western. They get a, a posse together to, to chase down this peeping Tom. And they finally do get him. Uh, one of the guys punches him in the face to, to get him to stop running. And uh, they ho the, the, the mob of dads. So good dads out here, by the way. Awesome. You, you've de definitely earned yourself some dad points for this whole event that's going on here. So the dads basically wait out. Uh, the police showing up and then they wind up arresting the guy. It turns out this guy was, was quite a piece of work. He's a 53-year-old registered sex offender named Douglas Lane of Charlotte, North Carolina. So I'm not sure what he was doing in South Carolina. I guess just passing through. Uh, but he has been busted for peeping eight times. So this is a pretty sick individual. He's a registered sex offender, like I said, which means he's probably done this before to underage girls. And uh, I gotta be quite frank to you. It's a miracle this dude isn't dead. And I'm not just saying that because I think that he deserves death or what he did is, is earned the death penalty, especially since he's done it eight times. I'm just shocked that when you're talking about somewhere in the South, that nobody had a gun and just killed the guy. That really is a miracle because if he's fleeing the scene of the crime and all of that, I really don't see how somebody didn't pull out a gun, especially considering he was trying to take a look at a 15-year-old girl while she's going to the bathroom and just kill the guy. Furthermore, he's in a Cracker Barrel. I mean, if there's a place where about half of the people that are eating there probably have a gun on them, it's a Cracker Barrel. Furthermore, even if you just happen to find the one weird Cracker Barrel in South Carolina where nobody happens to be armed at the time, it's a Cracker Barrel. You have no shortage of rusty old farm tools just hanging around. How does this guy wind up doing this without getting a pitchfork through the face? Like, that's what I'm surprised about. <laughs> so, if you really want to pinpoint the stupid in this daily dose of stupid, it's, if you're going to do this, as horrible as it is, and I'm not trying to give tips to perverts here, but seriously, if you were going to peek in on women and, and try to get a look 
to get your jollies or whatever, you know, sick people like this want to do. You don't do it in a Cracker Barrel in South Carolina. It's a miracle this dude is still alive today. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade.